Namaskar, hello and a very warm welcome to this special series on Cyber Jagrukta Divas. Well, today is 1st of March 2023 and as you all know that today is the first Wednesday of March. Uh, so we have this special program and uh, today we are going to begin this series on uh, ethics in emerging digital space. And uh, this is not going to be a one day series, it's going to be a five day series and uh, we are going to bring you these programs on different topics within uh, March. So please watch these programs and uh, you can register yourself, you can be a participant in this program and you can raise your questions. All you have to do is watch all these episodes, all these uh, sessions and uh, you can be a part of the quiz which will be given to you on the last day of this series. So let me tell you how you can be a participant. Uh, you can simply uh, go to the website which is CIET. Just uh, have a look at this. This is the home page. Once you click on this events section, the third last option is workshop slash training. If you click on it, scroll it further. Here is the theme for March ethics in emerging digital space click on it scroll it a little further and this is every detail regarding this series and uh, these are the five sessions the details have been mentioned each and everything has been mentioned who all can participate this is the schedule of the entire series and uh, this is the way you can be a participant either you can simply click on this link and fill up the form or you can scan this QR code and be a participant. Here if you scroll it further this is the website through which you can connect with us and raise your questions your queries the website is cyber safety at the rate cit.nic.in and this is the feedback form please click on it and send your feedbacks. You can see here the quiz link will be uploaded on 24th of March 2023 which would be the last day of our series and every detail has been mentioned here please uh, click on uh, uh, the page and uh, see for yourself once again. So this entire series, let me tell you, has been organized by CIT and CRT in collaboration with ISEA CDAC. And uh, there's a lot of topics which are going to be there in the month of March and uh, you can be a participant in this program. So um, you can connect with us, you can give us a call on our number which is 8800440559. This is also one of the ways through which you can connect with us. At this moment you are watching us on Evidya channel number 6 to channel number 12. We have three guests with us in this particular program and uh, they'll be answering all your questions, all your doubts. Till 5 o'clock uh, we all are here and uh, we'll be more than happy to answer all your questions. Let me tell you before beginning this uh, program we have a very important announcement and that is regarding India's G20 presidency. We are extremely proud of the fact that India assumed G20 presidency and would convene the G20 leaders summit for the first time in the country this year. A nation deeply committed to democracy and multilateralism, India's G20 presidency would be a watershed moment in her history as it seeks to play an important role by finding pragmatic global solutions for the well-being of all and in doing so manifest its true spirit of Vasudev Kutumkam or should I say the world is one family. So with this announcement, let me please introduce to you our guests for today's program. My first guest is... Uh, Mr. Yash Dhingra, a very warm welcome to you, sir. Sir is a scientist C and uh, he has been working since 2017 with Indian Computer and Emergency Response Team, Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, Government of India. He is a part of Incident Response Team at CERT N. We also have another guest with us. Let me please introduce to you Ms. K. Indraveni. A very warm welcome to you, ma'am. So, ma'am is the joint director from CDAC Hyderabad, Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, Government of India. And she is also associated with CDAC since last 17 years. She has carried out more than 200 security audits and assessments for various critical infrastructure, hosted systems and solutions. Let me please introduce to you my third guest of this program and he is Dr. Anant Prabhu. Sir, a very warm welcome to you too as well. 
Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Sir is a professor and a principal investigator from Sahadri College of Engineering and Management. He is a cyber security expert, professor of computer engineering and an author. He is also a guest faculty at the Karnataka Police Academy and Karnataka Judicial Academy. So let me please welcome all the guests once again to our program and uh, we are going to begin this program uh, with uh, Indra Vedi ma'am. So uh, ma'am I would request you to please uh, share certain points on uh, today's topic which is ethics in emerging digital space. Ma'am. Uh, Indra Vedi ma'am can you hear me? Ma'am actually yes. your mic is off can you please switch yes, it on? Yes. Good evening yeah. madam thank you so much. Thank you. Can you hear me now? Yes, ma'am. Loud and clear. Yeah. So, uh, thank you so much. So, during uh, this session of today, uh, I, I am happy that I am part of this panel uh, to discuss about the ethics in emerging uh, digital space. So, uh, to brief you about, like, there are uh, certain things, like, as we all know, ethics is something that we follow day to day in our regular life. Now, when we map these ethics with the internet world or the digital world, there is a slight variation on various activities. Most importantly, when we are saying ethics, uh, it's basically a branch of ethics, we should say, that focuses more about the relationship between the creation, organization, dissemination, and use of the information. So there's lots of information that has been generated and lying across in the digital space. Now the challenge over here is, how do we use this data? What ethics I need to follow while I'm using it, while I'm distributing it, or while I am consuming it for my own purpose. Because if those ethics are not being followed, there are a lot of disasters that can happen. Either it could be your personal things or for the digital space or for the family in the respective ways. So to brief about as a simple thing, uh, if ethics are not being followed, what kind of a digital chaos can happen? Like let's think for example, uh, in today the digital technology have uh, vastly increased where uh, so many new things we are deeply embedding, uh, getting into our lives. AI, ML is something that is mostly used across by various people for generating a lot of data. Now, if there is no proper principles or standards available for uh, concluding on how these data sets are used by us, then there could be a digital chaos. For example, uh, like uh, there was a case where uh, the AI based uh, hiring system has been banned. The reason is, for the last 10 years, the AI based system was training itself based on the applications that are coming. And since the AI system is understanding and seeing that most applications are from men, it started creating itself, training itself and trying to give a model in such a way that it stopped accepting any application from the female employees, female participants or candidates. So, this is a kind of a bias that is getting created. So, the Lord, there are existing datasets if the systems are directly using without doing a proper uh, conclusions or designing upon what principle should be applied at what case, then there is a huge damage that can happen. Imagine a very big proven systems like AI, ML kind of models itself are trying to uh, create issues uh, by concluding on based on the data sets purely. Just think what can happen if we do not follow ethics in our digital space while we are handling their data. The misuse of this data can create a lot of problems. So in order to uh, 